So we can add to the basic open and close actuator an analog card. The analog card has an analog input and a feedback and it has a number of relays, two for monitoring the position and some additional status position relays. This particular card is set up for 4 to 20 analog current input and output. We, have, we can additionally set the unit for 0 to 10 volts DC input and output and we can mix and match the 4 to 20 and 0 to 10 signals. So this, switch, this board again has a program switch which is in either program mode here or in run mode here. That's switch number four. The right half of the board is the analog input settings plus the program. And the left half of the board is the analog output. If you note there's a mask on the board it will show us the various positions of the dip switches. If I simply reverse all these switches, it changes it from 4 to 20 analog output to 0 to 10 analog output. When we change these switches, we need to have the power off to the unit. No main power and no loop power. The analog input is changed with these two switches here, switch number five and switch number three. Again, there's a mask on the board. We simply re re reverse the position of all the switches to change it to the opposite mode. So to change it from zero to 10, you not only have to change these physical switches with the power off, turn the power on, and then we come back with our three programming dials, our program switch, and our push button, and we enter in the parameters and variables that we want to valve the function with. So for this unit we have 4 to 20 analog input, put so 4 milliamps in, this is our output here, 4 milliamps output change the input, the actuator will run and track. We're sending 16 milliamps, 75% signal. And the actuator has stopped at 75%. The dead band is variable, we can set it anywhere from one to four and a half percent. In this case, it's set at one percent. We can invert the signal so the actuator runs in non-standard in non mode. So if reverse acting signal, 